I'm going to show you how to configure Cisco routers for EIGRP routing. So EIGRP is a much faster protocol and much more efficient than most of them out there. But it's a Cisco specific protocol which limits its use and ability. So I have here two routers, my Portland and Seattle router, and I have a switch. I have already configured the interfaces and so I'm going to configure the Portland router first and then the Seattle router just so you can see how to do the configuration. All right, so you can see that there are two networks here. There is the 192.168.0.1 slash 30 network and the 172.16.0.0 well, slash 24 network. And so these two networks need to be configured. So I am now on the Portland machine. I have been able to get into privileged mode. And from here, I can look at my routing table and see that I have, I'm directly connected to two different subnets. So I do comp T and from configuration mode, I can go into router configuration mode. So I hit router. EIGRP, and then I need to use an asynchronous or autonomous system number. Um, it can be any number you want. Um, it just needs to be a number, and both routers should have the same number. So I pick um, number one. Now, what it wants me to do is list each of my networks. It wants me to list the network, and that's the subnet address, and it wants me to put the mask, but it wants me to put the mask in a wildcard format. So this one has two different subnets. So I'll do network. And I'll do the 192 one first, 192.168.0. Dot dot. And it's a slash 30. Slash 30's mask is 255.255.255.252. And the wildcard is basically the not of the mask so I can take a bunch of 255s and subtract the mask and get the wildcard. So it's going to be a 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.3. Another way to look at it is because it's a slash 30, that means there are two bits for the host and both bits have to be turned on in the wildcard. Either way, this is what we get. It's much easier with a slash 24. Uh, it's going to be 172 dot 16 dot 0 dot 0 with a wild card of 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 255 so I need to have the network command there network and that's what we get so now this one is configured and ready to go it's time to switch to the other device and so I switch over and press enter a few times and now I'm in the Seattle device. I then go into enabled mode. And from here, I can go into, well, I can take a look at first my routing table. So I type in show IP route. And I can see that I am just directly connected to one network. So I go into configuration mode, comp T. From here, I can go into the router configuration mode. So I type in router EIG. RP, same autonomous number, and I tell it my network. Same thing as network 192.168.0.0, and the same wildcard because it's the same network, so it's 0 .0 0.0.0.3. And then I can exit out of there, exit out again, and because the EIGRP protocol is a distance vector protocol. It does synchronizations every number of seconds, but EIGRP is better than things like RIP in that when something happens, like a new network is added, new interface is added, it will immediately send out a broadcast to everything on the EIGRP network, and it should be up to date already. So I show IP route, and I can see that I have received one network 
the 172.16.00 slash 16 network. And it says it's via or by D, which if you look at the codes is the EIGRP method. And you can see that it is coming off of fast ethernet 01. And that's how I can get to it. So now I can try pinging an interface on that network. Ping 172.16.0.1. And my ping goes completely across, 100% successful, and I'm good to go. And that's how you configure EIGRP routing with Cisco routers.